There are so many amazing cities in this world, and some of them have way surpassed others in terms of high-end technologies, innovative designs, and environmental advancements. They make it pretty hard for others who haven't caught up yet. The cobblestone streets and old-fashioned cities remind us of where we probably come from. But the future is here, and things are changing at lightning speed. Modern Design's eco-friendly spaces are the new norm, and some very clever architects from across the globe have proven this ahead of their times. And we are not talking only skyscrapers and gorgeous skylines. Advanced telecommunications, artificial intelligence, and a well-thought-out flow of traffic with easy access to essential facilities are what interests people today. Overall, that's the kind of city that many aspire to become sooner rather than later. In today's video, we will talk about the new futuristic China's city, Net City. You will hear about its construction, technological progress, and what the city will look like. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and press the notification button to not miss the next video. If you've done this, we can get started. Beginning in 2020, Sen Chen, in partnership with Chinese tech behemoth Tencent and NBBJ Architects, embarked on the design of a coastal, sustainable, state-of-the-art neighborhood called Net City to serve as the exclamation point capping Shenzhen's status as China's Silicon Valley. Designed by NBBJ, an architect firm with designs for Google, Samsung, and Amazon under its belt, Net City will be built from the ground up on 320 acres of Shenzhen, China and will be completed in seven years, as the Wall Street Journal reported. The Master Plan City project is one of the latest launched by a tech company that proposes providing a sprawling campus where employees can work, live, and play. Have you ever wondered why it will be called Net City? Apart from the eco-friendly focus, the Net City design involves the role of the internet. The city will be constructed from the bottom up to follow the distributed network of the internet itself. As NBBJ lead architect says, it will be interconnected, integrated, organic, and welcoming. And hence, this is the reason behind its name, Net City. When Net City is complete, the area will be about the size of Midtown Manhattan and should be able to accommodate up to 80,000 residents and workers. Here's what the futuristic city will look like. A little unusual for a city, but there will be no roads for cars in the district, which will be roughly the size and shape of Midtown Manhattan, or two and a half times better than Beijing's forbidden city. Instead, residents, commuters, and visitors will connect to Shenzhen via subway and traverse Net City on foot or by bicycle. Ferries will provide public transport along the waterway. Inside Net City, general vehicles are diverted into the basement around each plot, and by using the height difference of the site to form fast-moving traffic and slow-moving traffic zones, the folding green corridor in the center that connects all the plots is geared for pedestrians, bicycles, and autonomous vehicles. As per NBBJ, cars will be allowed only on a small piece of land of the large site and will construct roadways for cars in a manner to reduce their impact in terms of speed and noise. More importantly, the design will focus on how close the cars stay to the places where people gather. Sustainability will underpin the city's design. Buildings will feature photovoltaic panels on the rooftop area, and sensors will track environmental performance and flooding. The design also meets the goals of China's Sponge City Initiative by collecting water on campus, managing runoff and flooding, and mangrove trees at the shoreline's edge. Public green spaces are found throughout the plan and include commons, groves, wetlands, and sports and recreation parks. Net City looks like a futuristic district, in part due to its terraced buildings that vary throughout the development. Ranging in height from small, single-floor buildings to 30-floor high-rises, they border a large greenery-filled area at the center of the project. Greenery is everywhere, from the lower-level gardens, groves, and parks to grass-covered rooftops and multi-level terraces. New corporate offices will be the center of the project, surrounded by living quarters, schools, retail spaces, 
and other amenities that suit a work-life balance for Tencent employees. So what do you think about this? It may seem unreal to you, but this city is being built. This will be a whole new kind of city that will suit everyone. But the definite innovation is a car-free city. Just imagine that silence without a car, clean air, and lots of space to walk and enjoy. Every man's dream, isn't it? Well, think a little more about this city. You might decide to live there one day. Who knows? Until then, tell us your opinion about this video in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you don't miss more videos like this. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.